Hepatitis A Introduction Hepatitis is an infection of the liver that is caused by a virus. The hepatitis A virus is one of the many viruses that cause hepatitis. About 500 million people are living with hepatitis worldwide. Hepatitis A infections account for about 1.4 million of these cases each year. This patient education program explains what hepatitis A is. It discusses its causes, symptoms, diagnosis, treatment, and prevention. The liver and hepatitis. The liver is an important organ of the body. It is located in the upper right part of the abdomen. The liver plays several important roles in our body. After we eat, food is digested and absorbed, then taken through large blood vessels to the liver. The liver processes absorbed substances such as fat, sugar, protein, and vitamins so the rest of the body can use them. The liver gets rid of harmful substances called toxins before they have a chance to poison the body. The liver also makes bile, a yellowish liquid that helps absorb the food we eat. Bile is made out of a substance called bilirubin, a yellowish chemical. Bile is secreted directly into the first part of the intestines through the common bile duct. It can also be stored in the gallbladder before being secreted into the intestines. Bile is what gives our stools a brownish-green color. The liver also makes special chemicals that cause our blood to clot when we are injured. Please point to the liver. Choose one of the following options. Correct. Which of the following is a function of the liver? Choose one of the following options. 1. Cleans toxins. 2. Processes fats and sugar. 3. Produces bile. 4. Produces blood clotting substances. 5. All of the above. Correct. The liver is an important organ of the body. Hepatitis A is a virus. Viruses are extremely small germs that can multiply only after invading a host. Cold sores and the flu are caused by viruses. Viruses can be seen only with very powerful microscopes. The hepatitis A virus can invade the body through food or water contaminated with a small amount of feces. You can also get hepatitis A from close contact with a person who is already infected. This virus causes a liver infection called hepatitis A. The hepatitis A virus can rarely enter the body through contaminated blood. Hepatitis B and hepatitis C are other common hepatitis infections. Some of these hepatitis viruses can be either acute, meaning short-term, or chronic, meaning long-term. Hepatitis A is the least serious of these viruses. It does not become chronic. Most people with hepatitis A fully recover without treatment. Often, hepatitis A does not cause lasting liver damage. In rare cases, acute liver failure may happen. Acute liver failure is when the liver suddenly stops functioning correctly. People who are older and people with chronic liver diseases are at a higher risk for acute liver failure. However, this is rare. The hepatitis A virus always enters the body through contaminated blood. Select true or false. Correct. The hepatitis A virus usually, but not always, enters the body through contaminated food or water. You can also get hepatitis A from close contact with a person who is already infected. Hepatitis A is usually a temporary disease from which a person recovers. Select true or false. Correct. Hepatitis A is the mildest form of the hepatitis viruses. It does not usually become chronic. Symptoms. When a person becomes infected with the hepatitis A virus, he or she may not notice any symptoms at first. Symptoms usually appear after you have had the virus for a few weeks. Some common symptoms of hepatitis A are jaundice, which is a yellowing of the skin and whites of the eyes, nausea or vomiting, upper right abdominal pain or muscle pain, 
loss of appetite, low-grade fever, dark urine, pale or clay-colored stools, fatigue, itching, Symptoms of hepatitis A usually disappear in less than two months. However, symptoms may last for up to six months. Some people with hepatitis A may not have any symptoms. Also, these symptoms may not be caused by hepatitis A. Make sure to see a doctor to find out what is causing your symptoms. Hepatitis A always produces symptoms at the time of infection. Select true or false. Correct. Hepatitis A does not usually cause symptoms at the time of infection. Causes and risk factors Hepatitis A can be transmitted in several ways. Usually, it is transmitted through contact with a small amount of infected feces. It can also be spread through contact with an infected person or rarely through contaminated blood. You may not even know that you are in contact with objects that have been infected. For example, if a person infected with hepatitis A uses the bathroom and does not wash his or her hands properly, the virus may be spread through objects that person touches. You are at an increased risk of hepatitis A if you travel to or live in areas where hepatitis A is common. You are at an increased risk of hepatitis A if you are HIV positive or are a man who has sexual contact with other men. You are also at an increased risk of hepatitis A if you use illegal drugs, whether injected or not, live with someone who has hepatitis A, receive clotting factor concentrates for a medical condition. Not everybody who is at an increased risk of hepatitis A gets hepatitis A. Also, some people who have no risk factors for hepatitis A can still get it. Diagnosis the doctor will perform a physical exam and order blood tests and possibly an ultrasound of your liver. A blood test can easily diagnose a hepatitis A infection. The test looks for antigens and antibodies in your blood. If you think you were recently infected, it will be four to six weeks before the virus can be found in your blood. A blood test can show if you have had a recent hepatitis A infection, you have recovered from a past infection, you are immune to hepatitis A. If blood tests show that you have not been infected with the hepatitis A virus, remember that you can still get it. Talk with your doctor about getting the hepatitis A vaccine. A hepatitis A infection can be detected immediately with a blood test. Select true or false. Correct. It takes a while for antibodies to form. It can take four to six weeks before the virus can be found in your blood. Treatment Your doctor may recommend rest and symptom management of hepatitis A. Usually, the body will fight off the virus on its own. People with hepatitis should avoid alcohol and any substances that could affect the liver. Certain medications, such as acetaminophen, can affect the liver. Your doctor may recommend stopping some medications or changing the dosage while you have hepatitis A. Fatty foods may be difficult to digest because of the inflammation of the liver. It is best to avoid these types of foods. Also, it may be helpful to eat smaller, more frequent meals. The liver will usually be healed after two months, but it may take up to six months. Hepatitis A usually does not cause lasting damage to the liver. All patients with hepatitis A need to take medication to fight the virus. Select true or false. Correct. Medication is usually not needed to treat hepatitis A. Making small changes to your lifestyle while infected can help manage symptoms. Vaccination The hepatitis A vaccine is available internationally and can prevent infection with the hepatitis A virus. The hepatitis A vaccine is given in two doses, six months apart. It is a safe vaccine and will not give you hepatitis A. It takes two to four weeks after the first dose to become immune to the hepatitis A virus. Doctors recommend that all children at age one or older be given the hepatitis A vaccine. It can provide protection for up to 20 years. 
It is also recommended that people should get the vaccine if their occupations may expose them to hepatitis A, including laboratory workers and healthcare providers. They are traveling to areas where the risk of hepatitis A is high. They have chronic liver disease. Other people that should get the vaccine include men who have sex with men, people who use illicit drugs, people who receive certain medical treatments such as clotting factor concentrates. There is a safe and effective vaccine that will prevent a person from getting the hepatitis A virus. Select true or false. Correct. The hepatitis A vaccine is considered safe and effective in preventing hepatitis A infection. Prevention. In addition to the vaccine, hepatitis A can also be prevented through practicing good hygiene such as washing hands and washing fruits and vegetables thoroughly. You should always wash your hands frequently to prevent infections. This is especially important after you use the bathroom, before preparing and eating food, and after changing a diaper. Sanitation is important when traveling in areas where the risk of hepatitis is high. Avoid raw or undercooked meat and wash and peel your fruits and vegetables yourself. Also, drink bottled water when traveling in those areas. Summary Hepatitis is an infection of the liver that is caused by a virus. The hepatitis A virus is one of many viruses that cause hepatitis. Hepatitis A is the least serious of these viruses. It does not become chronic. Hepatitis A can invade the human body through food or water contaminated with a small amount of feces. It can also be spread through contact with an infected person or, rarely, through contaminated blood. Most people with hepatitis A fully recover without treatment. Often, hepatitis A does not cause lasting liver damage. There is generally no treatment for a hepatitis A infection besides rest and managing any symptoms. The body will fight off the virus on its own. The good news is that there is a safe vaccine to prevent hepatitis A. You can also prevent spreading hepatitis A by practicing good hygiene. This includes washing your hands frequently and washing vegetables and fruits thoroughly.